basically like when you're on a website and you see some sort of drop down functionality like this, this is what in software is considered a component, right? And so the information that is populated here is what the app will build on their own. But oftentimes there are hundreds of different component libraries that you can start to pick and choose what you want to add to your application. I would almost consider it like, and this is very like a very common practice within like modern software development. It gives me like MySpace vibes, right? Like it's to a, to a degree, like I could essentially take this code and import it in my application and then I can feed it the actual text from the users, right? So when we think about Instagram, like the image container of like where the the images, where the little icons are that say comment, love, heart, and like send, those are, that line is also like a component. And then under that, the comment area is also another component, right? And so the data that makes up those components is pushed in from user generated content. But ultimately what houses that are these three separate components. And so you can take one of these libraries and you can do that you can create that same system from one of these component libraries. And so really easy to leverage for your application.